Hi there, and welcome to the Cult of Cinema. Uh, I am live and uh, thinking about some stuff. So yesterday was the day. It was a big day that a lot of people waited for. It was, drum roll please, Black Friday. What did that mean for a lot of people? That meant getting gifts, getting gifts for themselves, getting movies, and getting video games, whatever your bag is for Black Friday. Um, <clears throat> you were uh, ready for it, uh, hopefully. I was not ready for Black Friday this year, uh, but that's okay. I managed to get some pretty cool stuff. Thanks to Vinegar Syndrome and the way they did their stuff. Hey, Vinny, welcome, dude. Did you... What did you get for Black Friday, man? I'm curious, because <clears throat> I know you usually get some cool stuff. Hey, evening, Nethead. Hey, Adrian. Me, I uh, I got some cool stuff, but I uh, I kind of... kind of. A little bit low on it this time around. <laughs> but I, because Born Archives and Se Really? Are you telling me that you missed out on the Angel Trilogy? And Vice Academy? Vinny. Ginger, Ginger Lynn Allen. And Betsy Russell. <clears throat> I. Couldn't go with Severin this time around. I barely got to go with Vinegar Syndrome, but I'm lucky with the stuff that I that I that I did get. Um, I was limited in the amount that I could get. Hey, Alan. Uh, Severin's discs are they're you know they're actually they're not like made on demand type things. All right, excellent. Let me know what you think of it. I'll switch the Jasper Sharp, Sharp thing. So I basically had to choose three things. That's what I had the money for to be my birth, my Christmas present for this year. Uh, so I got the Angel Trilogy, I got uh, the uh, the Vice Academy one one to three, and I got the uh, of course Savage Don because <clears throat> freaking excellent film with Lance Henriksen, William Forsyth, Karen Black, uh, George Kennedy. How can you not have a movie with that cast? It's it's it is you know it's a dream exploitation cast. <clears throat> it's super cool, and Richard Lynch, Richard Lynch also in that as well. Uh, so that's the one I went with because Vinegar Syndrome had their stuff laid out so well. Uh, I was able to get like well, you know, three things, but still seven movies, uh, which I'll be able to watch for uh, for Christmas, and I'm very excited about those. Now, what I'm not so excited about is the fact that Satan Slaves, all nice for Wolf Man, one of the ones that I really, really wanted, uh, and I said I can wait on it; it won't sell out. I love Karen Black; it's sold out. <clears throat> not gonna say it didn't bum me out a bit. Apparently, but hey, Joseph, I said Trigon instead of Tygon in my last video a few times. But for and somebody corrected me on that, so thank you, David. But uh, obviously, the re the real reason that I was saying Trigon was because I'm secretly a member of the Titans, and I was taken over last night by an evil entity. So there. I'm sticking with that explanation and not that I just messed up, which, you know, what me mess up? <clears throat> but we've seen some stuff sell out already. Now, if, uh, if you watch my channel and you watched it last night, you know that uh, one of the things I wanted most that I couldn't pick up was, was this right here. So this is the Spookies, and you're not going to see it very well. This is slipcover number one, and I really wanted that film, uh, preferably with that slipcover, but I'm okay as long as I get the film. So I'm, I'm going to imagine that one of you have secretly gotten me the spookies for Christmas, and, and, that's, and that's going to be touching my heart. <clears throat> but spookies is sold out. Slipcover number one is sold out completely. Gone. Nada. Spookies number two slipcover is still available. Uh, actually, it's a very cool slipcover as well. It doesn't have the buxom girl on it. But it's still in the over 500 range. The thing that shocked me, I don't have the manual. Those, those are limited, man. Uh, I wish I had those. That's the Lord Gemser ones. Uh, really enjoyed those films. I'm a big Lord Gemser fan. My dad actually was a really huge Lord Gemser fan. He still is. 
candy snatchers still above 500. So I, I kind of get that. Now, taming the TRX 4K is, is still above 500. I'm glad, not because I'm glad it's above 500, but it's, I'm glad that I'm still going to be able to get it. But uh, the Blu-ray for Taming the T-Rex, if it's one you're looking at, guys, that uh, that's going down there. Uh, and I mean, like, really, that's got to do 140 copies. The sales are still not over. So I want you to, like, think, like, 140 copies might seem like a, a few, but it's not really. <clears throat> Especially when it comes to the uh, to the Taming the T-Rex. It's got a gorgeous 3D lenticular cover that, trust me, guys, you are going to love if you've never seen it. But some things have really went down. Like some of the slip covers uh, that they put in. Uh, there are only 51 left on Christmas Evil. Which kind of blows my mind. In a good way. But I think what really surprises me. Is Pigs is down to 400. Those are good titles. I love Witch Trap. Splatter you. Let me know, 13 Wolfman, what do you think of Splatter you? You should totally do a video on that one. Hey, Mike. Welcome, dude. <clears throat> I wonder if Lucy the Geek got any love. 469 left, so that's pretty good. And Telephone Book, I'm guessing that's probably going to be the, the one that didn't, did the least well. Yeah, still over 500 left, which is too bad because Telephone Book is actually a good film. I do not own it yet. But the spooky soundtrack, I think, is also sold out as well. Yep, product's out of stock. <clears throat> got a good deal from Severn as well. See, I, I could afford only a, a few. How can there still be over 500 copies of Amityville The Curse Collection left? Who hasn't bought Amityville The Curse Collection yet? So far, Mug Spooky's uh, Slipcover 1 has sold out. Uh, you know how I feel about that. I'm feeling the pain. I don't, aren't I going to get the Batman Complete series? Well, I got the, uh, if you mean the 60s series, I got that one. If you mean the cartoon series, eventually. I have it on DVD. But let's check their limited editions to see what exactly is there. I'm missing some of your comments there. I do apologize for that. But, uh, I wonder if any of these have gotten really, really low. How much is Savage Harbor in it? Because that's one that everybody should hopefully have in their collection. There's 455 of Savage Harbor left in the VSIs. So if that's one you were looking at before and you didn't get it. 11 titles from Severin? 11 titles? Wow. Uh, see, I where I'm here, it would cost a lot of money. I'm uh, ABC. I'm on right now on, on the Vinegar Shedding website. I'm basically going over some of the stuff that's uh, that's going low to kind of let people know, like exactly where, uh, like because the sale's still on, you, you can still get some of the stuff. Uh, there's still a few left for flesh. Definitely over 500 left for Flesh Pot on 42nd Street, and I'm going to say this right now. It's a really good film. VinegarShedding.com. <laughs> Pretty easy one there. <clears throat> Now, they did have Volumes 3 and Volumes 4 of Five Films, Five Years when uh, when it came in here, but well, yesterday, but they only have Volume 4 left, and that one only has 217 copies left. Oh, I'm so jealous of you, Eggman. So, I was asked again to put up my wish list on, on there. So, what I did on my last video, because I was asked about on my Patreon thing, I put my Patreon thing, thank you to my Patreons, I was asked to put up a wish list. So, what I did this time around is rather than put up my normal Amazon wish list, I put up my Vinegar Syndrome list. So, if you want to see what my Vinegar Syndrome like rating is, what titles I got in Vinegar, Vinegar Syndrome, which titles I want for Vinegar Syndrome, uh, I actually put the, list, the link to my list up in my last video. So, for those who asked, it's there. And the most important question is, how's Pete Carpenter doing? How... There is only 115 left of these beautiful blood mania point of terror double features. And then you're not going to get those special editions with the exclusive rare TV editions of the film. 
I hope, <clears throat> hopefully that that's just a mistake on their part and they won't have to like, uh, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? Not get it? See, Severn lost a little bit of goodwill with me last time. When I when I picked Severn sale over the Vinegar Syndrome sale once to get the original Jack the Ripper one that came out. Um, at that time, they said, well, if you buy this many movies, you're going to get a free movie. If you buy this many movies, you're going to get a free movie. If you buy this many movies, you're going to get another free movie. It was up to four free movies you could get. And they listed on there, okay, by the way, these are totally random. You know, everybody's not going to get the same thing. It's all different stuff. Uh, you remember this? You know, I'm going, you know, I'm going with this with Third Wolf Man. <clears throat> Does everybody, anybody here that know, gone through this struggle and know what I'm going through? Said, you know, it's totally random. We're not just getting rid of movies that that we, you know, that we don't like anymore or that, that are, aren't selling well. So, everybody that ordered originally and uh, ordered a lot at the beginning of the sale, they got the same films. The Zuludan, they got Shopping, uh, they got Stuntman, uh, and I think there was one other one. Uh, everybody, like across the board, got all the same film. Uh, meanwhile, after they ran out of those, some people that came in late <laughs> and just happened to get their orders out late, uh, they randomly got stuff. But everybody that ordered went into Severin and went and grabbed the, the Jack the Ripper 11th edition and bought a bunch of their stuff. They all got the same free movies last time around. So uh, that that bugged me a bit. I heard like so many people like coming on to, to the forum sites and saying, oh, I got... This one. I said, well, wait a second, I got that movie too. Is, aren't these supposed to be random? And the uh, the unfortunately weren't. Now to see the comments that I missed out on. You guys have gotten quiet again. I'm so, so not a... This can be like a very short video if you guys get quiet. <laughs> Vinny, have you gone off to like search on those vinegar syndromes? I'm guessing he has because he's, he's gotten really quiet. You shouldn't have had to check a box. Uh, you can message him. One thing I got to say good about him, you can message him pretty good. A pay throw bundle with it now. Well, it's good that they're sending them out, that's just they're still available. Missing what did you miss out on the Tigon bundle? It does. Yeah, he's like, my dad is a huge Creature from the Black Lagoon fan, <clears throat> so he will always have the Creature from the Black Lagoon. I uh, actually. I actually have a creature from the Black Lagoon here too. I forgot the, the figure. Did you miss out, Kevin? Did you miss out on the uh, on the Tigon bundle too? I really wanted that, but I didn't get it. You missed out on the Hemisphere Horror box set. They were low on that one. Like uh, I don't know if the, anybody was was aware. I know that that was going on for half price, but I'll be honest. They were re like a few a couple weeks back. They did let people know that the Hemisphere Horror box was in a low count. So uh, unfortunately. That was, you know, kind of went really fast. Uh, the Tigon bundle, I, I, considering this, they're only doing it for two days, that was that's a bit on the inside for me. The fact that you're not going to be able to buy it afterwards at all. Uh, still, I'm, I'm, I'm going to guess it's a licensing thing, but it still hits me wrong. I can't imagine another company that would do, would put out a movie that they could only release for three days. Like, I can understand if you only have so many copies that you can release, like say, it was a while back. Actually, that's the reason that I picked up when I remember when I my video that I did when I bought the uh, you know the Hemisphere Horror box set and I picked up like the uh, like the alligator and wax mask and stuff like that. That was the reason. Did you go overboard, Indy, by getting me a copy of Spookies? Because <laughs> I missed out on Spookies. I missed out on Spookies and Candy Snatchers. I didn't get either one of those. Spookies I wanted more for the documentaries though. 
hopefully the second they still have over 500 the second slip cover so i'll hopefully get that one in the road <clears throat> it's true we're a sucker for punishment if you're we're like man i had a horrible experience on this and then they release something that you like and you're like I'm going to suck it up now and I'm going to buy that. There's only a company or two that I won't uh, get a, that I, that doesn't matter what they put out. I'm not, I just don't buy their stuff, uh, but most companies I will. Yeah, the two that people want the most. <laughs> Blood on Satan's Claw. And the beast in the cellar the two most i know that the mondo films are going hey william have their you know like i'm a fan of that type of film they're kind of cheesy and fun but they've got a limited appeal uh you know and a limited audience as opposed to like one of the tygon films there's kind of a mix-up with that like we got all these couples of copies of the mondo films whether you want them or not but hey you know the ones that everybody's been waiting all year for? Two days. Two days of those. I don't get that. Uh, maybe it's just me. All right. <clears throat> you didn't pick up Beast in the Cellar? You got your Black Friday haul. Oh, oh, you mean like stuff in the stores? I shall watch that. And I shall cry because I have no Black Friday haul. It was in my last video. I picked up one movie, uh, which was which cost me less than $10. <laughs> that was the Tragedy Girls MFA double feature. You don't know if you've seen that. <laughs> Now, does anybody, is anybody going back to the well a second time? Is anybody buying anything else? A lot of times, other times I was able to, uh, to actually like go back to the well. Not this year, I can't. Um, but uh, I did get good stuff. I got to say, thank you, Vinegar Syndrome. Um, I was bummed about the limitations, but you put out such good stuff that even under limited, even under limited, uh, I got seven seven movies coming. You know, within three sets, like seven films. That's that's pretty cool. So I, I big props to to Vinegar Syndrome for that. Vinegar Syndrome, the company that saved my Christmas, but then sort of spookies on me. Um, yeah, and I'm excited. I'm excited about every film they got coming for Vinegar Syndrome and. Sometimes I, I got those iffy kind of blank spots. Exactly, Mark. Hey, Ricky, welcome. It's good. I mean, the Angel series, for people that haven't seen the films, they're good films. Hey, happy Black Friday to you too. Is there a name for Saturday, by the way, the Saturday after Black Friday? Do we have an official name for that yet? Um, uh, because the, the angel trilogy is amazing. Uh, the first film is actually a really good solid thriller. Uh, Donald Wilkes is in it as a, Hey, well, Hey, welcome to Murdersville. It's a fantastic cast. And it's definitely one that I recommend people check out. People see, uh, two was an excellent action film, uh, with, uh, with Betsy Russell, small business Saturday, <laughs> great Saturday. Um, uh, and I, uh, I really enjoy that. And the third one with Mitzi Capture is actually really good as well. What's better? Vinegar Syndrome or Indicator of Norman J. Warren films? It's different. I mean, if you get the, the Indicator set, you're going to get more uh, Norman J. Warren films. You're going to get Inseminide, which is not available in uh, from Vinegar Syndrome. Uh, also, I think, was it Vinegar Syndrome or which one had the Sam Deegan 
uh, commentaries. Whichever one has that, that's also a big plus as well. So if you're interested in the Norman J. Warren stuff, definitely look at which ones has the features that interest you more. Uh, I got the vinegar cinnamon ones, but I, I will definitely, if it's still available, buy the Norm J. Warren sit down the road. Hey Dave, welcome. I do have one indicator set coming for Christmas, uh, and that's because I ordered it and paid for it a long time ago, and that is the uh, Hammer Volume 4 set. Again, my Christmas is around the 18th or the 19th. That's when I'm actually going to be opening my presents. Uh, so I can't even see my my Black Friday stuff until then. <laughs> the price glitch. Now I was uh, Saint. That's a weird film, isn't it? I haven't seen Saint Bernard Ricky. I d it looks interesting. Uh, I like those kind of killer animal type films. As long as the animals weren't hurt in the in the making of the film, I'm good with it. Uh, and it looks just like looks like a weird film. Severance got some good releases there. I didn't like focus on Severance as much this time around, uh, but they did. I have to give them props. They put out five films that were definitely uh, of interest too, like to a lot of people, me included. Um, I would have killed for the Tygon films, but uh, like either of them, to be honest with you, like Blood 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 Saints, fantastic film. I like Beast and Seller too. Scream at George. Scream at George. Takes me back to my uh, my days of a uh, Brides of Blood. All right. Oh, Kathy's Curse is a really good one. Devil's Reign's fun as hell. I uh, I love Kathy's Curse. Uh, it's Canucks exploitation. You know I'm gonna like that. But there's so much good stuff that's uh like in between both those companies like you, you you're set i mean like the warner archives put out a thing but obviously that's not here in canada because warner archives has this like aversion to selling to canadians apparently um uh, which is utterly utterly insane but okay cut off your your revenue stream you know you be you you do that <laughs> you do that warner um canada buys a lot of stuff Who are the brethren? There's one I really want. <laughs> Return the living. Is it really? <laughs> it's true. I mean, like Warner. I'm sorry, Warner right, guys. You kind of you, you screw us over, man. You screw us over all the time. So did your landlord go over that mug? Is he is he okay with that? Or, or, or he or she? Drive masker, queen of blood. Queen of blood's good. I got that one a while back. I've never watched it. Uh, Axe, Coed, Massacre, The Other Hell, and others. Oh, I want The Other Hell so bad. I want Coed, Massacre, Axe. That's that's one of the big ones on my, on my like Severin, to get list. Because it's such an odd little film. And if you've ever seen it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Severin has some really, really good stuff. It, it is really hard this time around. Okay, 13 Wolfman, <laughs> let me put it to you this way. When I said I got I got three titles for Black Friday, and other hell is like $5 and, and shipping, right? So, to, to let me elucidate. <laughs> I meant that I stretched it as far as I can go and actually went a couple of dollars over the amount that I have to spend. I wasn't joking. <laughs> there was no hyperbole behind this. I, but I still think I managed to get some great stuff. Like, I've been waiting for the Angel Collection for years. <laughs> Uh, and the Vice Academy series, like the first three, I hope they put it four or five and six. They're not as good, but I still hope that they put them out because they are, they are fun, cheesy little films. So I would like to see V8 and Road with like Vice Academy four or just four to six, as well. I, I can't remember who stars in the four to six ones. I know that uh, 
Lenny and Ginger Allen are in the first two, and I think uh, Elizabeth Catan Catan is in the uh, is in part three. But I'm not sure who does. Is she in the parts four, five, and six, or I'm, I can't remember, or how they switch it up. But I do want parts four, five, and six. Hey Dale, welcome, man. They are uh, must haves in my uh, in my opinion. Did anybody here not pick up Vice Academy? Like, did anybody here look at the Vice Academy Vinegar Center thing and not pick that up? Hey George, welcome. I'm, hopefully your friend's feeling better. So, everybody got everybody that could from Vinegar Center. You gotta grab it. You gotta grab a thirteen foot man. Is Death Warmed Up worth buying? It's uh, do you like slot? You like kind of like splatter films, like gory films. If so, then you're probably gonna like it. Death Warmed Up is like kind of New Zealand's like the original gore film. Did anybody else not pick up the uh, the series? Is if any of the VSA titles sell out, I haven't actually. Uh, then it's going to be Vice Academy. Like that's when I see selling out the fastest. Uh, and it utterly blows my mind. I don't think the Vice Academy, I don't think Vice Academy will be there next sale. So that's the you know I, I think this is gonna like it's still at the, it says over five hundred but I think that's gonna drop fast if it's if it's still over five hundred Vice Academy is gonna sell well. Look and let's be honest like aside from like the films which are actually really cheesy fun. Uh, and probably some of the most accomplished stuff Rick Stone has done. Um, the covers were enticing for the films. And anybody that's never owned a VSA, uh, I will uh, I'll let you in on a little secret now. Uh, when you get a VSA and you open it up, those covers, that you're going to get a full, like, big size poster of the cover of that film. And you want, and on the other side of that, that with the other cover. That's that's the other side of the poster. It's a double sided poster. I do, but only the DVD edition, not the Blu ray one. I'm so jealous of you. <laughs> Taboo is a great film. Nightmare Sisters is cool, too. Um, the Cult of Matt. Hey, welcome to the Cult of Cinema, Cult of Matt. Uh, how big of the poster? Okay, tell you what. People get tired of listening to this, but here. You want to see how big the posters are for the VSAs? Okay, let's grab the... For people that wonder, this is a VSA. This is at a print. So if you're waiting on Vice Academy, you might not want to do that. This one went at a print on its own. People thought it wasn't going to go out of print. Gonna move back a bit. So this is the size of a poster. Every VSA title includes a poster this size with it. <clears throat> so like, think about that for a second. Now go look at the Vice Academy trilogy again. Look at that cover. Look at this poster. Look the size of this poster. There. And uh, you'll thank me for picking up Vice Academy. However, do not blame me if you get in trouble with your girlfriend for picking up Vice Academy. Don't do that. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to say you guys on Vice Academy. Ready? Ooh. 
Where, oh, where have you gone? Cannot believe that the one time I go to look for, oh, here we go. Oh yeah, Spooky's uh, slipcover number one's already sold out. So here you go. This is this is the original release of Vice Academy's Volume One, One to Three. As you see, it has Ginger Lynn Allen, of course, just from like the adult film industry fame, and Lindley Quigley was a famous expectation scream queen. And we get Julia Parton, Elizabeth Katain in the uh, in the third film. They are extremely fun cheesy little films if you had this edition it was a double-sided edition which was it was nice to have them but it was it was a bci release and it was an early one if you know the bci early stuff it wasn't exactly the best uh with the greatest quality so now this this is on blu-ray with a huge 22 by 16 poster brand new features it's kind of a it's kind of a must have. Have I sold you on it yet, Thirteen Wolfman? Yeah, exactly. You see them on. You would definitely see those on Up All Night. It's it's those type of films. <clears throat> they're cheesy. They're fun. Exactly. Hey, Fries, welcome. <laughs> I do not have any of those parody films. I've seen a few of those, but I don't have a lot of like adult films in my collection, except for some vineyard said them like classic stuff. Not that there's anything wrong with it. Sounds like a Seinfeld thing. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but uh, I just actually don't. Uh, <laughs> MC <laughs> called a cinema. Yeah, see, I was amazed that had that hadn't been used before. So one day when I when I was thinking, I said, you know, that's that's kind of a that's a neat idea, and people liked it so far. So we're gonna go with that. We're gonna stay with Cult Cinema. I did try to change my YouTube name to Cult of Cinema, and uh, unfortunately. The, uh, I didn't really see uh, see an, an like a uh, an option for that for me. <laughs> so really, I remember like oh God, this is a I guess was this an adult cinema one uh, that came out back in the day. I can do this because my channel is not like kid. It's not supposed to be kid friendly for this video anyway. Um, but I'm not going to talk about anything raunchy. Don't worry. Um, there was a film and I it had like music like female musicians in it and the music was actually kind of cool and i can't remember the name but it was an 80s one hey any good black there's a lot of good black friday pickups uh, a lot of people here got some really great stuff there, apparently 13 wolfman already has a black friday video up to watch a pickup video up online right now um uh, I got three things for Black Friday, but I'm very excited about them. I mean, they're three things that I've wanted for a long time. One that I did know I wanted until I saw it. Uh, did it, if there is anybody out there, Ten Sun Fury Demonoid, Dirty Delight, Bound the Door, good choices. Didn't grab. No, I think it was called New Wave. Oh, I have a trying. Uh, I know James Dean because he was in an actual like film, right? Uh, like the what's it called? The can canyons? Or the canyons? You know, Lindsay Lohan was in it. But he was one of the stars of that film, whatever the film was called. It, was, it wasn't like an adult film. It was like a it was kind of NC seventeen type type things. Killer dolls arrived yesterday. Nice. I'm gonna check the book pencil later too. That might be it, Dale. Um, is that a bit of band? And they did like a couple of them, but I think the first one, 
might have had Tracy Lords in it, so they had to like redo it with like another actress, kind of like take her scenes out type of thing, because obviously, um, it might be. But it had like really good music. I remember I was in high school, and I was watching it with a uh, with a friend of mine, and she we both she liked the music in the uh, in the movie as well. That might have been it because they made a few of them actually. I'd have to I'd have to check it out. But a uh, weird topic of conversation. Well, what do you think about? It? They're different. I mean, it depends on like what you like, right? Uh, there's going to be some more mainstream stuff uh, on uh, on on Screen Factory, but you're going to get some more obscure like gems, and uh, and sometimes some better films on uh, on Vinegar Syndrome. A Woman's Torment's a really good movie. Uh, done by Roberta Finley. Uh, a lot of people, even though it's an X-rated film, th there's a R-rated film that's actually longer cut than the R than the X-rated cut, and a lot of people like that as well. Pregnant, oh, nice wax mask. You're gonna love it. Um, but they they put out a uh, vinegar like Scream Factory. You kind of know what you're getting. It's gonna be like 80s, 90s, with a few 70s things thrown in there, um, like pretty much mainstream horror. When it comes to vinegar syndrome, it's it's a whole potpourri stuff. I mean, you can have you can be getting adult films, you can be getting like like action films like Savage Don. Uh, you'll be getting things like uh, oh god, things like Evil in the Night or Evil Town stuff like that. Actually, I don't know if I did. Pets is fantastic. Uh, I'm a huge fan. You, like, Rothentic just gained some cool points by by mentioning Pets. And Pets, Pets is an awesome film. Nineteen title, nineteen. Are you freaking serious? <clears throat> About you on the sale, dude. Matt, I, I don't think I have uh, Ma Mask of Thorn. I, I don't think I have, actually. Anybody, has anybody here seen it? Like, I'm behind on a, on a lot of stuff. Thirteen Severin. Yeah, they did have some great deals on the back catalog. Well, sort of. Uh, it's... An adult, yes, it's an adult film, but it's also that also has an R-rated cut as well for people that don't like, don't want to watch an adult film, but actually watch a good movie. Uh, Roberta Finley did a great job on the film, and I like hearken it to movies like uh, like Repulsion stuff like that. So if you or you like that style of film, you're gonna like Woman's Torment. Incubus is definitely hands down one of the best films that Vinegar Syndrome's ever put out, in my opinion. Uh, it from like the unique camera work to the way the story goes to the fact that the uh, you know they deviate from the book from the, from the ending and I actually kind of like like that I dig that fact. Uh, I'll check that out, George. Uh, I did kind of check it out, but I can't respond to quite yet. But uh, I hopefully things go okay and. I can't. I literally can't. Uh, I would love to. <laughs> uh, but the the truth of the matter is, at this point in time, I can't. So if I miss out, I'll miss out. That's the that's the that's the thing. I'll I'll get I'll get next time, or maybe if it comes out without the slip, I'll I'll, I'll grab that. But uh, at this point, it's not it's not an option, and it's not you know. But that's okay. I got a lot of great stuff. Uh, and I got titles that I'm very excited to pick up. Like, super excited about. Uh, I, The Angel Trilogy is something that... It's, it's been on my want list for so long. That I could not be without it. And if there's any movie that I'm super excited to watching that I didn't think I was going to be or didn't know I was going to be, it's Savage Dawn. 
I'm actually really excited to watch that one with my better half. I, I do know it's going to be the type of film that she's going to enjoy and that we're going to enjoy together. We watched a lot of the kind of the cheesy, cool action films. And we both agree that Bill Forsyth is kind of like the, he's the man when it comes to playing bad guys. The titles that I got going to sell out? Oh, eventually. I got the titles that I, three of the titles that I wanted most and because I'm collecting. Uh, some of the stuff that, uh, like I, I got the first two VSAs. I knew I had to have the next two VSAs. I would love to make a live video with her. We, we haven't made one since last uh, January, actually. Well, we did one for, for New Year's Day. We did a, a two-part video, if you ever want to check it out, uh, called uh, basically the, uh, it was a review of a Vinegar Syndrome film. And she's a really big black exploitation fan. This was the original black exploitation, Sweet Sweet ba Sweetbacks, Badass Song, and we uh, we did a review on it. Went two parts and uh, didn't do as well as I thought as as we were hoping it would do. And, but we enjoyed the hell out of it. And uh, she was in a she is usually in when I'm doing some like some big black exploitation reviews. Like she was in Ganja and Hess as well. Uh, my better half is more. Uh, What's the word? She's more of an academic than I am when it comes to certain things. So where sometimes, like I can look at films in an academic way and study them, but I, I do tend to like take a lot of the films and, and my reactions on a, on a completely guttural inst instinctual level. That's, that's kind of what, I love films. I love movies. Uh, she's really good at like, she, she's she's a university gal. She's went good at like, kind of like, picking it apart at different like at different levels, <clears throat> and I'm very very proud of her. She's been doing like the super like, like work at regime and all this, and it's been pretty awesome. So that's my thoughts. I get. I get a little bit like uh, giddy with my better half when talking about her. So thanks for asking that, Alan. I appreciate it. Thanks, Fry. <laughs> I just said a comment there. <clears throat> yeah, it doesn't do to get it doesn't do it doesn't do any good to get down a bit stuff like that. You tend to like, when you do, you tend to like miss out on the stuff that's all around you. And you, like whether it's like in collecting stuff or, you know, otherwise. It's it's not good to get tied up in things that, that you don't have or you can't get. Sunday comic strip films or series. I'm not quite sure what a Sunday comic strip film or series is. Like, what's, give me an example. Delirium. Have I seen that? Is are we just talking? You're not talking about the old Delirium, right? The one with like Serena Grande. We're talking about a different film. Because when I hear Delirium, I think about Serena Grande. No, no, the Angel Collection aren't horror films. Uh, at the at the most, I'd say the Angel, the first one is, is a bit of a, is a thriller, and like kind of like the uh, it's like literally it's a thriller. It's about a killer that's going around killing prostitutes. And uh, the, the character. I've got sex in the comics, the <laughs> from Vinegar Syndrome. Does, does that count? <clears throat> uh, yeah, exploitation with the thriller. Yeah, the first one especially. First one's more of a thriller. Second one's more action. Third one's kind of just ex really exploitation. Uh, but action exploitation. And the fourth one, though, it's not on there because the right issues because there's rights issues with it is the most exploitation <laughs> nudie one of all of the films uh, because as the first one you got Donna Wilkes you know it's gonna be more of a serious film gonna have more acting and stuff into it the second one you got Betsy Russell you know you're gonna get some action there's, there's gonna be a bit of nudity as well third film you get Mitzi Capture in there uh, and then the uh, the fourth one you you get Athena, Athena, Athena Massey and uh, if you've seen any of her films you know the type of film that you're gonna get lots of Lots of new do within those films. 
but the angel films are really good films first one especially is actually solid like you know take it all the expectation part of it ain't the angel film the first one actually is a really good solid film um does it, does it still follows expectation it actually does but is it like uh is it expectation in the way that, like some are uh, there's a strong there's a certain thing about there's a movie and it's quote unquote an adult film I don't really consider it an adult film I don't actually I don't have any dense amounts uh, called Flesh, Flesh Pot on 42nd Street now it's an Andy Milligan film if you never seen it and you just heard it and you saw the triple X thing on it you'd think you were going in for like a, like a fun adult romp of a time uh, now one thing you should know it's it's not that at all actually Andy Milligan really had no interest in making an adult film but due to uh, well producers and wanting the money for a film uh, he uh, kind of begrudgingly put some sequences in there and uh, there you can tell that he his heart's not in it so they're not really important sequences within the film I will talk about pets in a second um, so what what that gave us was this really good kind of character study film with characters that when they talk and when they converse you feel like real characters uh, that talk and convert basically the conversations they sound real uh, they sound like people uh, that uh, real, real people talking and Flesh Pattern 42nd Street is actually a really good film if you've never seen it I, I definitely recommend it it is a really fun film uh, now why did I mention because the Angels series the first film shares a similarity to Flesh Pot not in the adult portion of it but in the fact that the characters that you see in the first Angel film the characters that are introduced you basically are street family and the way that they talk and the way that they interact has more of a realness to it than a uh, than a lot of films so it did an Andy Milligan in the fact that it's it's stayed kind of true and gritty and real and street so definitely I recommend uh, the Angel series and I do recommend Flesh Pot on 42nd Street Pets is a is a different story Pets is a weird and wild fun film uh, I enjoy it. it you'll be surprised by some of the actors that are pets because some of them actually were actors that, that did stuff uh, it's a uniquely strange film it's a bit of like you got to let yourself to go with it there's some odd characters and characterizations and there's some weird kind of quirky like uh to it but uh I love pets pets is one that I saw on VHS back then there was no like label or anything on it at all like we bought a bunch of movies for for our, uh, our convenience store that we had at the time and uh, so when we got the movies we expected movies with cases and all this stuff on it right like because we're putting it to uh, to rent uh, so we get this box of films come in and n none of them got cases like uh, some of them don't even have like the things on them to tell you what the movies are so I had this huge box of movies and a VCR and a 32 inch TV set uh, this was back in the day so before I could pop them out uh, to for people to rent what I had to do was I had to watch all the films and do up a synopsis for each of the films one of the films that I watched was, was pets and uh, I kind of fell in love with the film but definitely not a horror film uh, but definitely one to uh, to check out uh, I, I agree with Andy it's one of their best releases of the year is a night beast good if you like Don Dollar I, I, I really love Don Dollar's work so if you're a fan of Don Dollar and you've seen things like uh, like one of his many other films you're, you're gonna like this one this is his most uh, his most solidly uh, kind of like mainstream type film I really see pets as an anthology film uh, because it really is following like really one character all through you know from her from getting away from her brother to going off and uh, getting caught up with the you know with this kind of almost like a kidnapping type of scheme to ending up with this uh, with this artist to this like weird kind of misogynistic character it's it's a it's a, it's a bit of a ride I don't want to give away too much but definitely check it out uh, it's a it's a really really fun film night piece is, is fun there too I'm waiting to watch that one with my better half because I think that's one that she's going to enjoy 
I got to pick a couple movies for us to watch actually soon. I want to watch Savage Harbor with her, fine, and so we can get some avocado jokes going. And uh, Night Beast is another one that I, I think that we can watch together. Now, when Savage Don comes in after Christmas, when she comes back from Morocco, we'll be uh, checking that out as well. And I'm going to try to convince her to watch at least one of the Angel films. Because I think she'll really enjoy it when she, if she actually watches it. And those are my thoughts on Black Friday and Vinegar Syndrome. So if there's people out there that are still looking at stuff to buy, Pets, Flesh Pot on 42nd Street, yes, grab those. If you're going back to the well again and you're wondering stuff you, sh you should get, those are great releases. Night Beast is a great release. Uh, it's a really fun release by, uh, by Don Dolor. There's some cool, if you like cheesy, like Z-grade sci-fi, uh, with some scenes that are probably going to make you laugh in a good way, and just have a good time with it, Night Beast is that type of film. But dreams may come. Good film. I don't think it's the Vinegar Syndrome put it out, but it's a great film. Um, if you want, like, uh, some different stuff, is anybody going back to the well? Does anybody need any suggestions? Because I can do that here tonight. I can go over there and I can give you suggestions for stuff that to pick up if you're if you're if there's something that you're kind of curious about, or if there's something that you're looking at and you're kind of wondering if you should grab it. If I got it here, I will tell you. <laughs> well, you know, I had the, the tag on just in case I had to bring it back. Uh, yeah, Savage Harp is a fun film. Uh, I think not enough people found it. Uh, I think people just saw like the Chris Mitchum, you know, Frank Stallone thing stayed away. I do like Runaway Nightmare. Uh, do you like it? It's weird. Uh, but I thought, was, I thought it was a fun film. I like that though. I, I do like kind of those weird. Might head back to Severin in the early stuff. Uh, yes. Uh, do you like documentaries? If you like documentaries, I'm going to tell you, grab All in Lost Souls, hands down, and the Video Nasties ones. Those, those, are, those are givens. Uh, I'm not sure if uh, Absurd is on, like, uh, is on, like, uh, is on sale from Severin, but if it is, definitely a pickup. Uh, Absurd was a, was a really fun little film with George Eastman. If you like G George Eastman especially, uh, and uh, Ed Edmund Perdue is in that one as well. Uh, he was also in, of course, Don't Up Till Christmas. Give some artwork inspiration. I'm going to go to the shelves again. Okay, let's go to the shelves. I'll we'll give you some Severin and Vinegar Syndrome thoughts. How's that? So if I missed some of your comments. Absurd is a good one. Uh, <clears throat> documentaries uh, first. We'll, we'll go with that. <clears throat> stuff from Severin. I'm going to say, mention Severin stuff first. Severin stuff worth picking up. <clears throat> if you like old school, school, if you like classic movies, you like the classic, the Mirabava and the old school stuff like that, there's one Severin release above any other that I suggest you pick up if you're a Barbara Steele fan. This one right here. It's called Nightmare Castle, but it's got three movies on it. You got Nightmare Castle, Castle Blood, and Terror Creatures from the Grave. This, this is a early release. And he's right. And actually, I was getting to that one. Uh, three films, one disc, but it's the Blu-ray, so you know it's going to be good. And there are features on here as well. <laughs> Since Indy mentioned this, this is Skinner. Skinner is an excellent like late 80s film. Pretty, I think sure it's late 80s or early 90s. Um, with, uh, with Ted Raimi in probably his best role that he has ever had in his entire life. And he kills it in this film, literally and figuratively. Tracy Lords does a really good job in this movie. And actually Ricky Lake does as well. She gets to do extremely well in uh, this. This is uh, an amazing film. This is the slipcover and inside of it you can see the uh, Tracy Lords character there. With the hat that kind of reminds me of that girl that was in those Scorpioner, Prisoner Scorpion films. I always wondered if that was like a homage to that. Absurd. Incredibly fun film. Really strange, really odd, and uh, 
I didn't know Italians liked football that much, and they don't. But it's a really cool film. It's, it's strange. I call this the unofficial Halloween, too. Actually, I would pick that up. Night Shift, I actually really like that. <clears throat> One that I don't recommend enough, but I, that I, I actually think I should. Oh, the features on Skinner are incredible. By the way, if you get Skinner, uh, probably the same one. Uh, check the features because it really need to have all the features there because the, the features on, on Skinner are amazing. Every single interview gives you a different like look and aspect of behind the scenes of the film. And it's so good. Dale's scenes. I'm sorry. Uh, Future Shock, the story of 2000 AD. This is one of the best documentaries out there. If you love comics, especially, or science fiction, you, you kind of owe it to yourself. you got to own this one. Uh, whether you get the Arrow edition or you get the Severin edition. Uh, I love the cover on the Severin edition. That's why I picked this one up. And uh, definitely worth the pick up. <clears throat> there are some that are out of print. Like uh, I, did, I got a Jack the Ripper one that's out of print. And there's a few Severin ones that, that have gone there. Devil's Honey, a Lucio Fulci film. I'm going to say, really, really recommend it. It's a great little film. It's very different for Fulci. This is not what you expect when you hear of a Lucio Fulci film. Uh, there's not like a bunch of blood and gore or that in this film. Is there nudity and stuff? Yeah, there is. Uh, but it's uh, it's very well done. And, it's, and it kind of shows the way that Lucio Fulci probably could have went and kind of resurrected his career like going in this correction in this direction but he uh, unfortunately he didn't get the chance to do like another big one like uh this one here this was probably his last big more bigger budget at least film that he did <clears throat> the house on straw hill um not quite sure if the limited edition version of this one is still available or not but uh, this this is a really cool film. Linda Hayden is in this one. Uh, Udo Kier. Hayden didn't really like the film. You get an interview with her. But uh, I don't care. I really love House on Straw Hill. The limited edition version of this, you might want to check on the separate website. If it's still available, it comes with Ben's Sadist Videos documentary, which is a really good video <clears throat> documentary on video nasties. And if you like video nasties, then you cannot have this missing from your collection. And this is the Video Nasty, is the Defendant of Guide, Volumes 1 and Volume 2. These are both excellent documentaries with that are also amazing trailer tapes. And the trailers with the introductions almost are like an extra documentary on its own. Strongly recommend these. If you have never picked, picked these up and you see the, these are on sale, these are for a good price. I know people bypass these because they say, oh, well, they're DVDs, they're not Blu-rays. Don't bypass these. You're going to miss out. These are really, really worth having. Everybody should have this in their collection. You will look at these here and you will find movies for your collection that you don't have and you'll list them. Vi, I don't have. So uh, I don't really know, but there's people here that got it. So is Vi good, guys? Uh, I really don't know. I don't have that one. I also enjoyed Emmanuel and Less Cannibals, but that's me. That's that's a different type of film. It's Lord Gibbs, her film from her, from her Emmanuel series. <clears throat> as far as like other like ideas for uh for vincent i've done a lot of these so it's really hard to say uh if you have if you've liked insane horror it's like slasher films get this are they just no it's both actually you get a documentary on video nasties plus you get a bunch of trailers so there's three discs so you get a documentary on the first disc then you got two discs of video nasty trailers and every one of those trailers before the trailers there's an introduction with telling you more about those films than was mentioned in the documentary itself. So it's like having a documentary, a big trailer set, and a second documentary. Grab this one. Because if you've picked up the, the Vice Academy series, then you're going to want m more Elizabeth Katain, even if it's only on the cover of the film. Hey, Darren, welcome. So, yeah, that I would <clears throat> strongly recommend. Um, 
although I enjoyed cutting class for what it was, I'm not sure if it's something I, I'm gonna, I'd give a strong recommendation to. Uh, it's a it's a fun little film, but aside from being a movie that happens to have a few different actors in it, uh, that that went on to become popular and famous, it's probably not one of the best seven title, best vinegar cinema titles out that, that, that's been put out. I was a bit depressed <laughs> watching the Joe Sholin like interview, uh, due to the fact that she had so little, like she didn't like the film at all. And didn't really want to do it and it, it, it's kind of depressing to watch um, but I enjoy cutting class for what it is I just don't think it's on my like highly recommended list I do love it I do George uh, it like when you talk about movies like if somebody came out and put out you know alone in the dark on with a big edition as well then I would be talking about that one a lot too because that's just, it's on the same level of like excitement for me with that stuff. Do I have a large Severn collection? No, not really. Uh, Severn titles, let me just see here. I guess I got around 28 or 29 seven titles altogether, uh, so I don't have a lot. Uh, and that's, oh wait, no, I got the uh, ones upstairs too. Uh, so there's, yeah, may, maybe 30 or so. But, uh, you know, compared to like uh, some people with the, the huge seven titles, I'm, I'm pretty sure Mood 616 probably has a big, much bigger seven selection than I got. Um, I can kind of say I'm kind of digging some of that stuff. We have similar tastes when it comes to stuff like that. Night Beast, Don Dollar. Recommend this if you get this one. There's a massacre video movie, and you like it. There's a massacre video movie that you got to pick up, uh, which I, I'm going to put under a strong recommendation. It's not on any of these lists here, and see if I can find it here. That's this Don Dollar movie here, The Fiend. So Fiend, truly worth picking up. If you have not seen this, you're going to want to see this. You're really going to want to see this. Here's the inside cover. Do I have grave robbers? Do I have grave? Good question. Do I have? I don't think I got grave robbers. Uh, let's see. Did I grab that during the last sale? No, I got. I got corpse grinders. I got orgy of the dead. Pets, of course. Deadly Daphne's Revenge. Blood Theater. Visitants. House of the Dead. That was a different, different, different one. Uh, Sudden Fury. I recommend that one strongly. Sudden Fury. Uh, Berserker. I like too. But I don't think I got that one. Any of the Rick Sloan ones are kind of fun as well. I love Intervision. I still have to watch Murder Lust. A Blu-ray release of what? What did I miss out on there? Do I know if there's ever been a DVD or Blu-ray release? Eroticist? I think I thought there was a release that somewhere. I didn't pick up Grave Robbers. Uh, I think I missed out on the limited edition that one, but I was kind of iffy on the on the limited edition cover. Do you have a movie called Life? Uh, not yet, actually. I want to get, um, I want to get it, but the thing is, I want 4K of it, and I keep finding the Blu-ray and the DVD on sale, but I never find 4K on sale. So I'm waiting till I can actually see it in 4K because this is one of those space horror films. And if you like quirky stuff, you don't you don't mind like kind of the quirkier stuff. Still, like I mentioned before in my last video, Star Time and, and Blue Vengeance. Still wants to check out, guys. Um, wants to uh, to grab during a sale that I I think are really good. Any of the the, the vinegar syndrome double features that you haven't got. If and if and I'm gonna say it again. I've I've said it before. I've, I've said it. I don't know how many times. But if you did not pick this up, <laughs> this is a really cool double feature. Pick this up, because not only are you going to get yourself some cool Pete Carpenter, you know, who all the ladies love, but if you're an Ilsa fan, say if you're an Ilsa fan, and you're, well, you'd be able to live with yourself if you miss out on this 
Tour de Force with Diane Thorne, Ilsa herself, in one of these films? I think not. I think not. And as you'll see on the inside, it comes with this super bonus limited edition disc with exclusive alternate TV versions of the films. Definitely worth checking out. I'm not going to lie, this may be one of my most watched Vinegar Syndrome titles. I've watched a few of these films over and over again. But there you go. Unless you guys have something else that you want to ask me about the Vinegar Syndrome or Severn titles before I, uh, I head off for tonight. I'm probably going to go just chilling for a bit. I don't have the house on Tombstone. I got, I'm, I'm behind on some of this stuff. So for those who ask me what my Vinegar Syndrome level is, what my, what my name is, I'm Vinegar Syndrome, what like my level is with the list, I did put out a want list. So you asked me for a want list, I put one out, a Vinegar Syndrome want list. Um, and that is on my last video that I did before this one here. We also find out the ones that I got and what my number is, what my name is on Vinegar Syndrome. Basically on Vinegar Syndrome, when you do up your list, you do up the movies you got, the movies that you need, and uh, they assign you a, a name uh, from one of their films based on the movies you got and the movies that you want. So it's a fun thing. So if you're in the Vinegar Syndrome website and you haven't checked it out, there's a little list there. You can go through, check out the films that you got, check out the films that you need, check out the films that you want type of thing. And, uh, and they'll give you like a little name on there. And with that being said, I'm Aaron. How do I organize my movies? Sean, well, I organize my, these here I do by label. Like uh, the, for the bigger companies, uh, I go by label. This is, uh, this is uh, Vinegar Syndrome, uh, Twilight Time, MVD Rewind. Uh, there's a, uh, starting here, it's like Screen Factory and Screen Factory's all down here and Shout Factory's down there. This entire shelf over here this is all arrow video all the way down uh over there is my kino stuff i have like uh my uh my vestron video when like blue man like blue underground and uh synapse seven releases over there uh for other stuff i do like i've got like my anchor bays and my mgms put together but then i've also got like a random horror shelf which is just like random horror films that don't fit into any of the other categories i got all my doctor who's put together which of course is in the, under doctor who and my documentaries are put together as well, and so are my like animated stuff. I put all my animated stuff together too. Everything else is kind of like a hodgepodge right now, and I'll rework my stuff once I uh, move some of this over to the uh, to the condo in the uh, in Morocco when, once we eventually go there. But there you go. I want to thank everybody here for joining me tonight. I want to thank the uh, you for for coming in for. for for becoming part of the cult of cinema if this is your first time welcome come back you are very much invited to i am aaron this is my movie library you are the cult of cinema you guys rock you guys are awesome and i find a lot of stuff from you guys i'm sure I'll, i've made a few mistakes on this on this video here that i'll be told about afterwards and for that, I will thank you ahead of time because uh, I appreciate that. Have a great night, guys, and I will see you soon. But right now, for me, it is time for tea. So at this point, this cult meeting is adjourned or over. <laughs>